What's going on everybody? It's your boy Fox 2 Go Welcome to a new video as I always upload every single day. Bruh. He needs some milk! Anyway, putting all that aside, let's get to the actual topic. The African Cup of Nations is almost here and I'm excited to give my group stage prediction and go over all the teams competing. So without further ado, let's get right in. So, starting off with Group A, we have Ethiopia, Burkina Faso, Cape Verde, and the host, Cameroon. Cape Verde have some really good quality in their squad and have a really good chance of making it out, I think, of this group. They didn't top their qualification group for the ACON 2021, but that was only due to some unlucky draws to Rwanda and Mozambique. The next team, Ethiopia, finished second in their qualification group with three wins and three draws. However, their squad is aging and I don't think they have the quality to compete in this group. No offense to any Ethiopians watching. But you do have to take a look at the stats. Their most valued player plays for a mid-table club in the Egyptian Premier League. The next team, Burkina Faso, have some really good players and have some really nice potential. I think they'll do pretty well in this competition. And they recently drew twice to the African champions Algeria in the World Cup qualification campaign. So I believe they have a pretty good chance of topping this group. So for my final predictions for Group A, I think Burkina Faso will just top the group, beating Cameroon. Uh, I do think Cameroon will finish second, Cape Verde finishing fourth, and Ethiopia finishing last. I just don't think Cape Verde have enough quality in their squad to overtake Cameroon despite their shaky form. Moving on to Group B, we have Senegal, Zimbabwe, Guinea, and Malawi. Senegal have some really amazing squad depth. I think they'll make it pretty far in competition, considering that they were finalists last time. Guinea do have some pretty nice quality in their squad and have chances to make it pretty far in the competition. Guinea's current form hasn't been the best though, missing on topping out the AFCON qualification group and qualifying to the third round of World Cup qualifiers. Malawi's squad isn't that good to seriously compete for a knockout stage position. No offense to them, I just don't think they'll make it far in this competition. This will be a really close group, but I think Senegal will top it. Guinea will finish in second, Zimbabwe will be third, and Malawi will finish fourth. Moving on to the next group, Group C, we have Morocco, Ghana, Comoros, and Gabon. Morocco have been looking fantastic lately with a really dangerous squad. They have the likes of Hakimi, Saiz, and Nasri. The list goes on. However, one of their best players, Hakim Ziyech, will not be taking part of this competition due to the decision of coach Vadid Harilozic. I still do think they have a shot at winning the competition. Ghana does have some really nice quality in their squad and their form doesn't look too terrible as well, topping both their World Cup qualification groups and their AFCON qualification groups. But for Group C, I'm putting Morocco in first, Ghana in second, Gabon in third, and Comoros in fourth. Comoros' form hasn't been looking too bad, but I don't think they'll top Gabon in this group stage. On to Group T, where we have Nigeria, Egypt, Sudan, and Guinea-Bissau. Nigeria, Egypt, and Sudan all have some really good quality in their squad. No offense to Guinea-Bissau, but I think the quality in this group will just be a little too much for them. I will be placing them last in this group. Sudan's form hasn't been looking too shabby, but I don't think they'll be able to top the giants of Egypt and Nigeria. Now, these last two will definitely be entertaining to watch, with the likes of Mohamed Salah, Wilfred Ndidi, and many, many other entertaining players. Now, Nigeria are missing some really key players to their squad, such as Victor Oshimhan, Polo Nachu, due to injury. And Nigeria's form hasn't been the best either. With that in mind, I'm going to have to say Nigeria finished in second and Egypt topped the group. The next group, Group E, has Algeria, Sierra Leone, Equatorial Guinea, and La Côte d'Ivoire. Now, Algeria, the reigning champions of Africa, currently have some really good squad depth and some pretty nice form as well. They did recently just win the Arab Cup. I think they'll top this group without a hiccup, especially since they have one of the best national team managers right now. The battle between Sierra Leone and Ivory Coast for second place will be a pretty good one, but I think the Ivory Coast will edge out over Sierra Leone in the end. I just don't think their squad depth will be good enough to match Ivory Coast. So I do predict Ivory Coast to finish second the automatic qualification spot, Sierra Leone to finish third, and for Equatorial Guinea to finish bottom. Move to the last group, 
group F, there's Tunisia, Mali, Mauritania, and the Gambia. I think Mali, Tunisia, and Mauritania all have a good chance of topping this group. But every single team in this group does have a really good chance of making the knockouts. This is the Gambia's first edition of the Africa Cup of Nations, so I would just like to say congratulations to them. Now, Tunisia has been lacking in form a bit and recently dropped in the FIFA World Rankings. Now, Mali did have a pretty good run in the World Cup qualifiers. Martinia, not the best, but also not the worst. Now, I am predicting Mali to pull through and upset Tunisia and top the group. But I do believe that Tunisia will finish second above Mauritania, Mauritania will finish third, and the Gambia will unfortunately finish fourth. Although it is their first AFCON, I just don't think their squad has enough quality to compete with the other teams. This has been one of the hardest groups to predict so far. Alright, now that the group stage predictions are finished, we aren't finished yet. Now that we're done with the group stage, we have to predict the best four placing third place teams. So the teams are Mauritania, Sierra Leone, Sudan, Gabon, Zimbabwe, and Cape Verde. Now it's really sad seeing some of these teams go, as I think they can produce some really good football for AFCON, but they do have to go. So my predictions are Cape Verde, Sudan, Martinia, and Zimbabwe going through to the knockout stages. I just don't think Sierra Leone and Gabon have enough quality to compete with the other teams. Anyway, that's it for my AFCON 2022 predictions. I hope you enjoyed. Happy New Year. Goodbye. Have a good day. Peace.